This is my letter to the world that never wrote to me. The simple news that nature told with tender majesty. Her message is committed to hands I cannot see. For love of her, sweet countrymen, judge tenderly of me. The soul selects her own society, then shuts the door to her divine majority, present no more. Unmoved, she notes the chariots, pausing at her low gate. Unmoved, an emperor be kneeling upon her mat. I've known her from an affirmation. Choose one, then close the valves of her attention like stone. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves an immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain, we passed the setting sun, or rather, he passed us. The dews drew quivering and chill, for only gossamer, my gown, my tippet, only tool, we passed before a house that seemed the swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet feel shorter than the day, I first surmised the horse's head were toward eternity. I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the room was like the stillness in the air, between the heaves of storm. The eyes around had wrung them dry, and breaths were gathering firm, for that last onset when the king be witnessed in the room. I willed my keepsakes, signed away what portion may be assignable, and then it was there interposed the fly, with blue, uncertain stumbling buzz between the light and me, and then the windows failed, and then I could not see to see.